Business owners across Albuquerque say their businesses have become a target for burglars and they think the suspects are getting more bold because there seems to be fewer consequences. Let's get to News 13's Marilyn Upchurch who shows us who got hit this time. Stephanie, it's a story we hear all too often. This time, a local business who strongly believes in giving back to the community was hit hard after a break in at their business last week. All of us have been hit so hard in the last the last two years that we don't need this on top of it. Duke City Beaches, a local winery and restaurant offering sand sports like beach volleyball and soccer, is picking up the pieces after a break in at their business Thursday morning. They smashed our back window and, and came in and and uh, had a bunch of time inside of there and, and got our cash register and actually got down into our basement and got our safe. Their alarm wasn't working Thursday morning at the time of the break-in, but surveillance cameras captured this photo. It shows a man carrying the cash register drawer. He says it seems like burglars are getting more brave. This one breaking in first thing in the morning when the sun was up, not even trying to hide. He, uh, he went into our basement, which only has one exit, and he was down there for like 15 minutes or so. It's like, it, it's kind of crazy to think that somebody could could be that brave to go down there and know that they didn't have an exit, they didn't have any anything, and there's not really any consequences. Although he hears many stories of break-ins in the area, he never thought he would fall victim to the crime. We were under the impression that that it was a okay like area and that we, that we wouldn't get hit, and that's that's when you get hit the worst. White says they love giving back to the community, and just last week they hosted the Spike for Survivors Volleyball Tournament, raising money for firefighters in Albuquerque and the county. A large portion of that money went to the families of the recent Metro 2 helicopter crash victims. He explains these problems are discouraging. It's it's hard to, to like try to be helping everybody out and then and then stuff like this happens. White says he knows he's not alone. In fact, when he posted the suspect's photo to their Instagram page, a lot of business owners in the area chimed in, saying they too had been hit. I, I posted a picture of him on Instagram and we got five or six different people sending me videos and pictures. In the past couple of months alone, CareQE has told you about multiple business burglaries, everything from tattoo shops to makeup institutes and a dozen auto shops. I have a very resilient spirit, so I'm not crushed by it, but um, I've built this business over 15 years and I put everything into it. White says he's frustrated and he hopes something is done soon to prevent this from happening to other businesses. These break-ins are just not uh, top priority, and I understand that, but, but something needs to happen because it just keeps happening. White says they're going to have to make up thousands of dollars because of the broken window, stolen register, and safe. Back to you. Okay, Marilyn. He also tells us they called APD. He was told he could file a report over the phone. He says he hasn't gotten a response yet.